Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to address one of your questions, which is about how to derive yesterday's date in Data Studio. So basically, I already have a video on that, which is how to display today's date in Data Studio dynamically. So our friend wants to know how to show yesterday date instead. So what she try is that she has already used the sorry here you go. So she actually tried this formula using max today and she's trying to minus one but it doesn't work. So now I'm going to show you what is the way if you want to derive yesterday date. So I'm going to just use an example dashboard, but your dashboard should just work because it's not related to the data that we are going to use. So now I'm going to create a new field. Oops, I keep forgetting that they changed the layout. So let me just cross that. And here I'm going to just add a field. And here I'm going to just name it as yesterday date. Here I'm going to use today formula. And you can still use the same method that we used previously to indicate the time zone, or you can use the time zone name to indicate the time zone, or else the default will be in GMT plus zero. Once you enter this formula, you're going to use another formula, which is date time sub interval to indicate the time. So interval, we're going to say one day. So here's the formula. So by right, I should get today is 5th July, then I should get 4th of July if I manage to get the date right. So click save and finished. And now I'm going to drag this into, sorry, I forgot one thing, which is we have to add max before we can create a scorecard. So just click update and finish. And now I'm going to just drag this out. See if it can help me to create a new scorecard. Oops, seems like it just replaced my, my card, but you can see that it's working. So now we have this, sorry, let me just, position it properly. So now we have this scorecard to show yesterday date, but I, I don't want the time behind, which I think we can easily fix using this type. So I'm going to just change it from date time to date only. So now you can see that it's showing the right date for us. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because I want to try out this format for you guys because I have found that it's getting more difficult for me to publish and video because I'm getting more and more questions from you guys because of our community has growing. So I'm thinking that maybe I can have more videos, more content, but the content is maybe less polished, like not so much of slides and extra information. So let me know what you think about this approach and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.